The Albatross is debatably one of the most impactful aircraft of the First World War. Approximately 4,800 of these fighters were built throughout the conflict. The earlier models of the Albatross were relatively groundbreaking. The Albatross D-3 shifted the air war on the Western Front in April 1917. This was known as Bloody April, resulting in 250 British aircraft lost in one month alone. The Albatross airframe built up quite the reputation on the Western Front. Each new variant of the Albatross brought more improvements to the table. Some of those differences included a larger tail fin, lowering of the top wing closer to the fuselage for better visibility, and offsetting the water radiator to the starboard side of the aircraft. All of these seemed to improve the functionality of the airframe and carried over to the D-5. The main changes that the Albatross D-5 brought to the table was the elliptical shape of the fuselage, as well as more reinforcement to the bottom wings. In May 1917, German pilots began to receive these machines. A few more issues were ironed out and the Albatross D-5A was born. A whopping total of 1,650 Albatross D-5 and D-5As were built. Flaws, however, began to arise. The lower wings still had the reputation for shearing off the aircraft in high-speed dives. Despite more reinforcements to the troubled area, this problem would plague the Albatross for the remainder of the war. Unfortunately, for the D-5, its time in the spotlight seemed to slip away. The aircraft did not have a significant advantage over newer Allied aircraft such as the SPAD and SE-5. German pilots were not very impressed with the new aircraft, with von Richthofen himself saying it was obsolete. Despite all of this, the aircraft stayed in production until the end of the war and ended up being the most produced German aircraft of the First World War. Wolfpack345 here and welcome back to some more Flying Circus. Today we're going to be taking out the Albatross D5A for a little spin here. And I'm sure most of you know how these first look videos uh, go by now. We, we take the plane up, do a little bit of combat in it, and I give you my thoughts. Now this was one of my favorite planes really in Rise of Flight, so I'm very interested to see how it stacks up here in Flying Circus. Uh, as you can see, the exterior of the aircraft is really well done, I have to say. Just all the pattern on the wood, uh, it looks really good, the textures and everything. I'm very impressed. It seems like with each aircraft, the Flying Circus lineup, uh, they just get better and better in quality. Uh, I'm very impressed with the Albatross here. And that same that goes with the cockpit. The the leather and the wood inside of the cockpit is very detailed. And here we'll go ahead and do a quick surface check. Make sure everything is hunky dory on our aircraft before we take off. There's a flight of four albatrosses here. And I'll just go through. We have a altimeter, RPM gauge. Here's our throttle quadrant, and there's our actual throttle and uh, both triggers are right there and uh, that's pretty that's pretty much it and we also have a compass way down there um, our airspeed indicator is out on the wing as you can see we are not moving surprise surprise and those are our British friends coming in to pay us a visit so I think we're gonna go ahead and proceed to take off now as they're, they're probably about four or five kilometers away so I'm gonna go ahead and start throttling up here and this plane takes off fairly easily, uh, I have found. It's probably one of the more forgiving German aircraft, I feel like. And as you can see, we're staying pretty pretty straight, and uh, we are already about to rotate. And yeah, it looks like the, the Tommies are coming for us now. So we're going to go ahead and rotate, and easy peasy lemon squeezy, we're already up in the air. I'm going to kind of circle around and wait for our friends to kind of get up because I do not want to engage those by myself. There's a total of six British aircraft and there's four of us. As you can see, wow, this is just fantastic looking. I'm very impressed and uh, they've actually, for those of you that don't know, as of recording this, they have released the last of the Flying Circus Volume 1 aircraft. They are all released, so we're really just waiting for the map now. And I think that'll really tie this whole package together. Alright, well I'm going to circle back around. Turn rate is fairly good. 
I think uh, the only real downside to this aircraft is uh, dives can be a little scary. Your wings do like to shred. And uh, let's go ahead and open that radiator all the way. Go ahead and stop. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> stop uh, belching steam there. Let's see. And I lost my friends, but that's okay. It looks like we have a British plane coming in probably one of the two-seaters and let's go ahead and proceed we'll go ahead and engage that now I have no idea where my comrades ran off to but well who needs them right oh no I don't think these are I think these are camels coming in well, let's go ahead and line them up in our sights do a head-on pass is probably a terrible idea Got some decent shots in. All right, swing around. Beautiful, beautiful. Very maneuverable. I'm actually rather impressed with that maneuver. Good thing I didn't pancake into the ground just then. That would have been quite embarrassing. Uh, still no, still don't see my friends. And there's the camels flying right above us. All right, anyway, I gotta be very careful about these gunners. So I'm gonna try to fly kind of below them and hopefully uh, they don't get pull off any spectacular shots on us all right just tore into the tore into him there it's leaking fuel and there's one gone she's a goner yep splash one all right we'll go ahead and whip around here oh and I should probably there we go all right, and there's another one coming for me. Let's go ahead and try to uh, tangle with the camel here. And there's there's an albatross. Okay, it looks like they're finally doing their job. All right, hopefully we can catch up to the camel here. The camel can most definitely outturn us if he really wants to. You know, it looks like there's a big fur ball developing behind us, and uh, someone's locking in on my six here uh, that's not very good you know what I might actually just whip around and uh, try to shake him all right here we go let's come on in here perfect that was actually very nice Now, you really want to aim for uh, the fuselage area. You have a pretty good chance of hitting something vital like the engine or you know, even more gruesome, the pilot. That's really what I'm going for here. It can be a tad difficult. But the armament of two span down machine guns, which is fairly standard at this point in the war, is actually rather effective. lay into him. It's leaking now. I think one of my guns is jammed, so... Oh, and I have eliminated the rear gunner, so... There we go, and she just crumpled. Woo! That was close. Alright, there goes another one. Another one bites the dust. I really want to tangle with a camel now, and it looks like one of our albatross friends is leaking fuel. Good thing we're right over our airfield, right, champ? Alright, so that is another one down for the count, and hello, my friend. Alright, we're going to go ahead and... Whoa, whoa, I don't know. Hello there, mate. Let's try to... Uh... There he is. He definitely got the drop on me there. Alright, and we'll try to close in on him. Hopefully we can catch him. We are going... Let's see, what's our airspeed right now? Looks like 150 kilometers per hour. Not too bad. Speed is not 
bad by any means. It's not perfect. It's not the fastest crate in the sky, but it'll do. And we're closing in on this camel. It looks like he's just kind of lollygagging around out there. It makes my job easier. Oh, I think that camel might be going down. Yep. Oh, he splashed. Okay, well, I think that's, uh... I think we cleared up the skies there. Let's see. What is that? Oh, that's another F2B. Okay, well, we'll engage that. Oh, it's a shame I didn't <laughs> end up getting into combat with any camels. I'm kind of seal clubbing over here, it feels like. But I suppose that's okay. Let's try to get our third catch of the day, shall we? And that gunner is ferocious. Oh, jeez. Oh, please don't shoot me in the head. I would not like that very much. All right, gun jam. Let's go ahead and uh, clear that. Oh, no. All right, leaking fuel. Really doing a number on these guys. Good thing they're fairly large targets. Pretty easy to hit. Oh, come on now. Oh, gunner's lighting back up. Oh, got the gunner again. Man, that must be such a terrible job to be the rear gunner in one of these things. Oh, yeah, wow, another one. And the wings folded up. Oh, boy. That was, that was close. Oh, it uh, ripped off one of my ailerons there. I, I need to throttle down. We are... <laughs> oh, man. That's not good. Well, good thing we're still alive. And, yeah, she's she's crashed down there. So let's go ahead and uh, give my engine a little break. I've been kind of pushing it kind of hard here. And we'll go ahead and proceed to land here at one of these airfields. Oh, I am kind of wounded here. My plane is uh, not really happy with me at the moment. <laughs> it's a little angry. A little angry. Oh yeah, that wing looks awfully bad. I think, I think I'm actually going to just kind of pick a field and land there if I can. Because that, that is, that's not good. If that rips off, we're kind of, we're kind of dead. <laughs> put it bluntly. But, so let's go ahead and put her down. You see a fairly rugged aircraft. We took quite a few shots, and well, we survived a, a wing smashing into our starboard side here. Thankfully, we survived. Well, we'll come down in walking distance to our aerodrome, and uh, I think that'll put an end to the video. Well, I gotta say, this is definitely one of my favorite aircraft in the pack. This is one of the ones I was most excited for, and probably one I'll be spending a lot of time in. So, and I am very happy with it. It looks great, as you would expect, with pretty much all these aircraft. And we're going to go ahead and come down here. And a little bounce. Yeah, we not. Oh, we'll see. She's bouncing, but that wing is just bouncing around, too. That <laughs> All right, let's 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 shut off our engine before we have a, an issue. Our radiator is overheating there. All right, well, anywho, that was actually a hell of a lot of fun. So thank you all for watching. That'll probably bring this little, little video to an end. Fairly simple aircraft, but very, very good. So anyway, thank you all for watching. This is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you guys on the next video.